Hi, this is just a quick video. Um, I'm still in Georgia. Um, I finally got my car um, fixed. Well, not really fixed, but found out what the problem was. Um, I left Calhoun, Georgia, and turns out that there was a, a not a sensor. My car doesn't have a tire monitoring pressure sensor. Anyway, um, some shop I took the car to had stuck in, I guess, someone else's tire monitoring sensor. Anyway, stuck it on the wheel and taped it up. And anyway, I guess it came loose and it was banging around inside the wheel. So when I drove, I got up to about 65 or 70 on the interstate. It would roll around and cause all kinds of vibration. Uh, it was causing a lot of noise, rattle back in the in the hatch area. Just, just a, you know, just causing a lot of problems. Anyway, a lot of vibration, a lot of shaking. Anyway, rattling, ra rattling, vibrating. Anyway, uh, the techs took everything out, you know, was trying to... You know, they moved everything in my trunk around. They moved everything in the in the back seat, you know, trying to figure out where the rattling was coming from. So anyway, it just turned out it was that sensor that had been taped up to the wheel causing the vibrations and, and such. Anyway, there and, and there was a second thing. Um, my ex-husband, I've, I, as I've said in, in other videos, we kind of switched cars. So he's driving mine and I'm driving his anyway. He had put a, uh, a wire, an old stretched out wire uh, clothes hanger in, in, uh, under the hatch in the back because he's always locking himself out of the car. So, you know, anyway, so that was banging against, also banging against the metal, causing a lot of uh, noise and, and stuff. Anyway, uh, found out that my car, the one that, uh, you know, he's driving, uh, has gotten really bad, really, really bad. It's sputtering. He took it in to a shop. Uh, I mean, it's been sputtering for a while, but it got worse. Anyway, he took it into a shop. Uh, one I, I've taken it to quite a, quite a few times. Found out that one cylinder is basically dead. There's no spark at all to the cylinder. Uh, he had replaced three spark plugs, asked them to replace the other three that he couldn't get to. And anyway, still you know, dead cylinder, um, they called me, they said, you know, they wanted to do only charge, they were only going to charge like another $45 to do, um, another, you know, finish, do some more diagnostic and try to figure out what's causing the, um, you know, the cylinder, no spark or dead cylinder. Anyway, he picked the car up before I could tell them to do, uh, more diagnostics Anyway, he said he was going to take the car back. Um, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen with that car. I, I, as I've said in other videos, I'm, I'm looking around. I'm trying to find another car. Uh, you know, I haven't had a lot of time, but I'm, I'm trying to find something else. Anyway, um, so anyway, not doing much. I'm just sitting here in Georgia. I'm not going to be here much longer. Um, I'm headed back to, well, not back. I'm headed to, my next stop will be South Carolina and then um, I have to head back to my home state. Um, I've sold some some property, so the closing's coming up real quick. So I'm gonna do that, and you know, when I a uh, little bit closer to the sale time, I'll probably do another video about that. But anyway, um, just wanted to you know just 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 wanted to just do, put another video out. This is not really about anything just still in Georgia, still traveling, um, I'm going to be headed home, I'm headed to South Carolina next, probably tonight I'm going to go into South Carolina, and then, and then I'm headed home, or basically, well, not home, not home, I take that back, I'm not headed home, I'm headed to the place where the property is, and then I'll probably head home, I got, you know, I got to go check on, um, my home, my, uh, what do you call it? home, I guess, home base, whatever, I got, uh, as I've said in other videos, I live on a, a boat, and I haven't, uh, I know the boat was out for some repairs for a while, so, but my understanding is the boat is either back, or it'll be back soon, so, you know, got to kind of go home for a little bit, you know, maybe a couple, a few days, 
but because I I'm gonna go home and then I got to turn around I have some other stuff that I've got to do that's gonna be totally on the other side of the state anyway um, I'm gonna I guess in for now because this video is right really about nothing anyway so I'm gonna just say bye bye for now and God bless have a nice day whatever all that good stuff